Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for all zodiac signs. So if you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, any of the books or journaling, you guys can find all of that on the description box below. Let's get into it. Let's get into the needy greedy. We're going to begin here with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to look into new love as well as the old flame for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys doing, my lovelies? I hope you guys are doing amazing. This is uh, Witching Friday, so I am doing these readings. And a few other readings and then we're gonna kick off at night at midnight spell work for my clients so pretty exciting right right I love Fridays you guys even if the half through of the week Wednesday I get a bit of a downhill type of energy uh, but Friday definitely restores my energy um, powerful powerful for spell work obviously and for divination so Alrighty, my lovelies, so let's get into it. For those of you guys that are following the Tarot Lessons 101, we are already at the end. We are going into the minors, so you guys stay tuned. That video should be going up probably in the next two days, um, and it's going to be back-to-back -back for the minors for all the elements, so you guys stay tuned for that as well. Also, tons of spell videos coming through for you guys. All right, let's begin. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors, please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for each one of the zodiac signs. We're going to begin here with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Give us three cards to represent their new love as well as three cards to represent their old flame. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Obviously, we're still in Leo season. Let's see what's going on here. If you guys like these videos, definitely like, share, and comment. Let me know you guys are enjoying them so I can continue doing those type of videos. Also, if you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, here we go, Leo. Let's see what's going on for you in regards to new love. We have the Empress here. We have the Sun, powerful energy, Leo. You guys are definitely starting off very explosive. So with the Empress card here in regards to how they're seeing you, this is for those of you guys that are dealing with new love or people that you guys are just getting to know. They're seeing you obviously as the end all be all. They are definitely very physically attracted to you. There is genuine and authentic love here that is beginning to transpire, that it's beginning to um, bear fruit in this connection. In regards to how they feel about you, they are very... Uh, hopeful in regards to what may ensue what may unfold for you guys there is a lot a lot of powerful energy here with the sun and the empress it's very fruitful type of energy it does uh, it's a very good omen when it comes to love readings it does represent uh, protection uh, it also represents the potential right the potential for something long term now, in regards to future actions, we see the two of swords here. So you guys may be feeling a bit disconnected right now, or perhaps like it was very exciting in the very beginning. And all of a sudden, there was some type of stop to it, or like I said, a bit of pulling away. I feel that this has more to do with the insecurities that they're dealing with about themselves regarding you. So uh, with the sun and the empress, it is very powerful energy. It does evoke a lot of confidence. So I feel like the people that you guys may be dealing with right now, Leo, may have certain insecurity issues. Uh, for some of them, old feelings about how they felt in the past, if they did have insecurity issues, um, having to do with, uh, you know, a bit of being overprotective or a bit controlling. Uh, because the two of swords does indicate having the need to find some type of solid to, to figure out what's going on or to figure out more than anything their emotions because we have a lot of ocean water back here. So again, I feel like they may be, it's kind of the situation where you're really attracted to someone, you feel the chemistry very strongly, but you're also very aware that they are uh, presumably very attractive. What does this mean? This means that they would have to be confident themselves, right? Because in order to deal or in order to be dating someone that is physically attractive, or at least what people would presume that to be, 
um, that means that they would draw in a lot of attention. So they there is a bit a a bit of um, confidence issues that are going on right now in regards to how they're feeling in regards to what their future actions are. So if you guys are currently dealing with a situation where you feel like <clears throat> you've noticed your partner being a little bit more jealous or a little bit more overbearing, uh, just know and understand that it could potentially have to do with insecurities that they have about themselves. Um, they could even see you as the most amazing person they've ever been been with or that they've dealt with uh, because they definitely see you as a prize. So this could be a bit of internalizing um, communication going on with them in their head, in their mind about this connection. Uh, am I able to deal with the fact that Leo is getting a lot of attention? Am I okay with them being very extroverted? You know, um, if you guys have the tendency of being the life of the party, they could actually, even if a person is very confident, but they're not used to dealing with people that are confident themselves, they may feel a bit overshadowed. So I feel like all of that's coming up for them right now, and that could be something that is currently influencing your connection. So try the best you can not to retrieve Leo. Try the best you can not to feel like, well, they're not texting me. I'm not going to text them type of thing. I feel like if anything, you should be very much more communicative. Uh, open the links of communication. Allow them to feel um, like they have, like you have, or they have your attention basically um be okay with opening up and showing your softer side leo that's going to be very important for this month for you guys okay all right now when looking into old love how they feel about you we have here the page of swords what they feel or why they feel that way seven of cups and the future actions okay so there is a bit of communication you may be actually hearing from an ex or you will be hearing from an ex this month um but i feel that it's very much to the point i feel that they're kind of trying to take or, or throw you bait um why because they feel confused about what's going on in your life page of swords would indicate to me that they are closely watching you or watching everything you're doing um, but they feel confused about certain things. And with the Three of Swords, for some of you guys, could be dealing with a obviously a breakup um, or a separation. Or perhaps they stepped out of the relationship. Or perhaps they feel like you stepped out of the relationship. Whatever situation it is, I feel like it has a lot to do with confusion and people meddling in shit that they shouldn't be meddling in. When I say people, I mean outside interference. So they definitely see or have people in their ear telling them or advising them. Um, but I feel like they're just steering the pot. So if you are hoping or wanting to have some type of reconciliation with the person from the past, I don't see that happening in their future actions. I feel like they're coming to the conclusion or understanding that it's over, that it's finally over. Um, I do see them dealing with some type of hurt or perhaps remorse so if they were the ones that stepped out of the relationship it's finally sinking in to them um that you're no longer there leo and there is a feeling of wanting to see what's going on with you seeing if you are being serious this time around for some of you guys it could be a situation where there's been multiple separations or breakups but there's always been a reconciliation i don't see a reconciliation here uh, my advice would be to try the best you can to focus on yourself and make yourself a priority Leo. It's time for you to heal and release anything that is creating um, more obstacles or more difficulty in your life, especially if they are creating a lot of confusion in your life. If you're dealing with the next where there was a separation or a breakup, but you're not aware of where you stand with them right now, meaning you're no longer with them, but you guys are still texting or still communicating, but they're not really telling you you know, what are we doing? Are we going to continue talking to each other and see if it can, you know, if we can rekindle the relationship, basically. They're just not really telling you exactly what their intentions are. Keep it pushing, Leo, because I feel like they are just, um, they themselves don't know what they want right now. And what they're doing is basically wanting to continue or maintain that emotional attachment you have to them so that you're not able to see other options um so again it's kind of them you know uh stringing you along and if that's the case definitely walk away from that okay 
All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to Virgo. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to new love and old flame, give me three cards to represent their new love, as well as three cards to represent their old flame. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle here for new love and old flame. All right. Here we go, Virgo. We're starting off here with the Queen of Swords, the Chariot, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so in regards to new love, it how they're seeing you right now, um, how they're seeing you right now, Virgo, they're seeing you a bit detached, a bit unemotional, um, perhaps wanting or desiring to get some type of feedback from you, but you're not really helping them. They are definitely... They, they know what it is that they want. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may be leading them on. So what I'm getting is for some of you Virgos, you may be dealing with a person that is very good um, or someone that has their shit together. And I feel like for some of you, and this is this may resonate with some, it may, res it may not resonate with some, but I feel that if you are dealing with someone that has all their shit together, you are not necessarily fully allowing yourself to connect because you're not used to that. You're not used to dealing with mature type of energy and that's what I'm sensing. And I feel like you're the one that's retrieving right now because you're kind of hesitant about, do I want to give them an opportunity or am I better off being single? They are all in. They know exactly what it is that they want. The chariot is about execution. It's about moving forward. It's about being focused in in the prize and you are the prize for them Virgo but I feel you again a bit guarded I feel you hesitant and the chariot usually indicates to me a person that has gone through a lot in life and they know what it is that they want and I feel like for some of you guys with the nine of pentacles you're not necessarily used to that or you're not accustomed to that so for some of you guys it may feel like they're boring or it may feel like they're not that exciting. But the truth is, Virgo, this person is good for you. Um, you're just not allowing yourself to fully open up and connect. Why? Because you're used to toxicity or you're used to toxic people, people that are emotionally unavailable. And this person is, like I said, either feeling all in or will be showing you that they are all in. Um, so the advice here is if you, Virgo, are not necessarily interested in them or you know without a doubt that you do not want to see yourself with them or you don't feel the same way they do do not string them along because many people have done that to you Virgo and you don't you know what it feels like to be strung along and I feel like this is good if you've been hoping or praying or wanting a mature type of energy an energy that has their shit together and that is willing to put in the work this person give yourself the opportunity now, for those of you guys that are single and absolutely dealing with no one, try the best you can to bring your guard down. Keep yourself open and available because I do see a new person coming into your life that is going to know without a doubt you are the one they want and they will actively, aggressively pursue you. So let's move on here with Virgo's old flame. Let's see what's going on. We have the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Pentacles. If you guys are looking for reconciliation, I do see reconciliation uh, probably the end of this month, beginning of September. What they're showing me here in regards to how they feel about you, they know that you are the person or their person. They are becoming aware that they're you're the one that they would want to either commit to or give a higher elevation of commitment. With the Wheel of Fortune, there was a drastic change in their life or something that gave them the nudge the push the understanding the wisdom um to fully appreciate you to understand the synchronicities that are happening right now in their life and they are being directed towards you so you will definitely be hearing from them and i do see the possibility of wanting to reconciliate or to want to think uh, talk things over what i'm hearing for some is do not be surprised if you get a phone call from your ex telling you expressively telling you their emotions openly openly telling you their emotions and how they feel about you and that they are willing to do whatever it takes to work it out i feel for some of you guys this may come to as a surprise perhaps because you were dealing with the person that was extremely closed off 
But like I said, I feel like they have gone through something that completely changed their trajectory, completely gave them a different perspective on life and a different perspective on you. And I feel like the absence of you has created the the accepting of the attachment that they have for you. So uh, I definitely do see possibility of reconciliation and communication coming through for you guys. All right, my lovelies. Okay, moving on now to Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra. If you guys like these videos, like, share, comment. Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All righty. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards to represent their new love. Three cards to represent the old flame. Let's see what's going on here with Libra's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. <clears throat> In regards to new love, we have the Strength card, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so... You guys could have possibly been dealing with someone that was married uh, or that was in a commitment and you were unsure or didn't know exactly what was going on. Um, in regards to how they see you, the strength card does indicate to me a lot of lust, a lot of desire, how they feel about you, the hierophant. Um, but what makes me iffy here is the seven of swords. There was someone trying to hide the commitment or the marriage. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, I'm hearing this is going to come as a surprise. So for some of you guys, you're unaware. Um, so you may find out or hear about this in the coming weeks. Um, if you are dealing with this type of situation, walk away from that. Uh, Libra, you deserve better than that. And if you were fully aware that they were in a commitment, uh, perhaps they didn't necessarily tell you exactly what was going on. It's almost as if they're telling you, we are still married, but we haven't been a couple for quite a while. All of that is bullshit. They were just telling you exactly what you wanted to hear, Libra. So it's time to open up your eyes and realize this person is not worth your time. Um, like I said, if you were fully aware and decided to pursue it, I feel like it had a lot to do with lies and deception. Um, because I am hearing, you know, we've been married or we've been living together, but we haven't been a couple for a while. And I feel like that is complete and utter BS. They were just not upfront and honest. They wanted to excuse uh, their acting single, even though they're not. Um, so if you're not dealing with this situation, do not be surprised if you do hear about it in the coming weeks, because I do feel for some of you guys, this is going to come as a surprise. All right, moving along here with the old flame for Libra. We have the Queen of Cups, we have the King of Swords, and we have the Six of Swords. So I do see you guys still contemplating or looking back or thinking about an ex-partner, ex-lover. Um, as you can see here, I feel like the masculine energy in this connection is moving forward. They are um, or have been moved on. I feel that the female energy, um, you're still holding on to something. You're still holding on either to the past or you're holding on to what it was in the very beginning. If you feel uh, like there is or if there is communication still between you, but you feel them very disconnected, know and understand that they, miss, they may still be talking to you, Libra, but they are moving on. So it's almost the situation of, I'm not necessarily ready to let go of Libra. So I'm going to keep open communication, but I'm still moving on until I'm able to find someone else. So my advice to this is if they are still com or communicating with you, um, but then all of a sudden they fall off or they don't communicate and then they communicate again, they're just wanting to see if you're allowing them to come back into your life, even though I don't see them having any pro or any desires to want to fix or reconciliate this connection because I do see them looking towards the future. Moving on, for some of you guys, you may be communicating with them um, in hopes that something would come from that, but they are already making their plans. As you guys can see here, the Six of Swords is moving along or moving forward, but with people in the boat. So that indicates that they are already connecting or moving on with someone else. So don't waste your time, Libra. Walk away from this connection, okay? All right, my lovelies, now let's go to 
Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio here. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards to represent their new love, as well as three cards to represent their old flame. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Scorpios. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Scorpio. We're starting off here with the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Tower. Holy moly, guacamole. Okay. So for some of you guys, there could have been a recent separation. Um, this is talking about new love. So for some of you guys, there could have been a connection. Um, for some of you guys, you could have still been in a relationship when you started this new connection. And there's been a major shakeup. There's been a major transformation through this transition. For many of you guys, it's going to be very differently. Some of you guys, you were dealing with someone new that came into your life when a marriage or some type of commitment was coming to an end. While for others, if you are currently going through a separation, through a breakup, someone walking away from this connection, the tower is here to tell you, yes, it may feel like your life is completely changing. But the positive in this is that it's making way, breaking away clutter, breaking away old patterns, bringing to you a new beginning, a new beginning that is going to be much more bountiful and much more stable, okay? So understand this. If you're not dealing with anyone, but you recently came out of a marriage, a commitment, um, a relationship that was of a long period of time, know and understand that at this point right now, it is crucial for you to keep moving on, Scorpio. Why? Because, like I said, there is major transformation. There is major transmutation that's happening and it's breaking away everything that has held you back to be able to free you and make way for new beginnings um now for others of you if you were recently dealing with someone and you came to the understanding or you heard or found out that this person was in a commitment or in some type of marriage and it came out of nowhere you were definitely not expecting it Know and understand that it is important to walk away from this Scorpio. I feel for some of you guys, it's a situation that you've dealt with in the past because they're speaking to me about a recurring cycle. So it is up to you moving forward what you decide, what you decide to attract into your life when we're talking about love and romance. If you're dealing with the situation and you're still hesitant about walking away, you're still trying to figure out if they're willing to walk away from that commitment or if they're willing to chase after you, Scorpio, don't waste your time. Because if you continue to put yourself on the sidelines for, for someone to figure out their life, uh, the truth of the matter is that you are accepting this is the type of energy you want to continuously keep dealing with. So walk away from this. It's not good for you. All right. Well. Moving on to Old Flame of Scorpio here. We have the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the King of Swords. Again, third-party energies here. Queen of Swords is indicating to me, in regards to how they feel about you, the person or your ex-partner, Queen of Swords does indicate um, almost like getting to the point of feeling like they kind of blame you for why things didn't work out. Um, to me, it seems like it's, a cop out they're not trying to take self-responsibility it's almost like it was your fault scorpio you were the one that made it difficult you were the one that was cold you were the one that pushed me away type of thing you're the one that literally pushed me to the arms of someone else if that's the vibe you're dealing with right now scorpio leave that shit behind you walk away from this you deserve so much better and don't try to fix it okay because that's what i'm hearing don't fix it Something that's broken can never be fixed. It's like breaking glass. You can glue it back together, but you're still going to see the broken particles. It is broken. So don't try to fix something that is unfixable at this point. It's about you making yourself a priority and choosing you. Having two queens and one king indicates to me that there is an energy of competition but it's competition that should not be competition. What do I mean by this? It's when you have, as an example, when you have a partner and the partner is extreme, extremely flirtatious and they flirt back with him, even though they see you there, you can't be mad at the female that's flirting with your man or vice versa. You can't be mad at the man that's flirting with your woman 
because they don't owe you any type of loyalty. The person you're with is the one that owes you that type of loyalty. So again, if you're dealing with that type of energy or that's the energy from the ex that you were dealing with, stop trying to fix it. Move on from this. You deserve better. All right, Scorpio. That was pretty harsh, but straight to the point. <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Give me three cards to represent new love, three cards to represent old flame. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, any type of reading, spell work, consultations, you can find all of that on the description box below, as well as you'll be able to find our links to our Amazon storefront, as well as the books and journaling that you guys can find on there. Alrighty, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with Saggies here. Three cards for new love, three cards to represent old flame. All right, here we go. Sagittarius, we have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Fool card. Wow. All right, so for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Earth energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. For others of you, it could be a Fire energy, and Aries particularly, uh, or a Leo or a Saggy like yourself. Now, when we're talking about how they see you, King of Pentacles, they see you very much in masculine energy, so they obviously see you a bit much more dominant in personality uh, in regards to them or in comparison to them. How they feel about you, Queen of Wands, a lot of passion. They are def There's definitely a physical attraction here. Earth is very physical as well as fire is passion. So a lot of physical attraction, a lot of excitement. This is very new to me um, with the full card. So for some of you guys, this could be extremely new connection for others of you. Even if you are dealing with someone and they don't necessarily fit this uh, characteristics, you're definitely going to be dealing with someone for the end of the month or beginning of September. There's a new person that's coming in. There's going to be a lot of physical attraction, a lot of passion and intensity, but also a lot of spontaneity. So if you guys are not necessarily used to, which you are, Satch, so it's probably the earth sign that is not necessarily very much into spontaneity type of things or being spontaneous or adventurous. You're definitely going to bring out the best in each other. Um, and that is definitely a the chemistry and the connection that I'm sensing here is very, very off the charts. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's going to be a very exciting time. Even if you're not dealing with anyone, I do see someone coming in that is really going to show you a very different way of seeing life. So it's very exciting type of energy. All right. Now into old love. We have the devil card, the six of cups and the star card. Okay. So what you're wanting or what they're wanting is to continuously keep reminding you of the greatness of what it was in the past. But with the devil here, the devil is having the toxicity or having a, to a, a toxic type of personality that continuously keeps selling you what it was to be in the relationship in the past. Um, so it's almost like realizing or understanding that it's not great. It hasn't been great. But they continuously keep either talking or making you feel like we could get to where we were in the past, even though the past is a past. You get what I'm saying? So do not allow them to manipulate you, Sagittarius. Do not allow them to manipulate you. If there's children involved, don't let them manipulate you in the sense of feeling like you have to continuously keep allowing them to come back into your life because they are the mother of your child or the father of your child. No one can take that away from them, but if they're toxic, you do more harm to your children bringing them around that toxicity versus completely you know reinventing yourself and that's what i'm seeing for a lot of you guys there is this being pulled or feeling like you're forcefully being pulled towards the past um and what spirit is telling you is that right now it is crucial and very important to maintain fake uh to maintain focus or to try the best you can to make a new path for yourself sagittarius crucial and very important and if like i said if there is children involved allow them to be your motor allow them to be where you draw your strength from to be able to align yourself and to really get out of this energy of 
stuckness and bondage and not being able to expand you're walking towards the star so the star is an indication of realignment it's a reinvent a reinventing yourself changing your life to be able to really be more not only successful but to get what you truly deserve especially when it comes to romance and love especially when it comes to your partners stop choosing partners that give very little um start to be more selfish and learn to pick the ones that pick you first pick the ones that put you first pick the ones or give yourself or open yourself up to the ones that make you the center of their world enough of you doing that because the more you do that the more they take advantage of that sagittarius all right my lovelies all right moving on now to capricorns my goats how are you guys doing let's see what's going on give me three cards to represent new love three cards to represent old flame capricorn sun moon rising venus capricorn sun moon rising venus let's see what's going on with my cappies capricorn sun moon rising venus three cards for new love three cards for old flame I don't know about you Capricorns, but let me tell you guys, I've been going through it. <laughs> been going through it for the past couple of months. <laughs> you know, excess coming out of nowhere, realizing all of a sudden. And it just, it seems like the universe just keeps pushing us to meet new people. I kid you not, the past three months I've met a few <laughs> perspectives. <laughs> And it is, but the same way new people come into your life, it's almost like the old people from the past keep coming out of the woodwork. Um, and I see it as being tempted in the old version of who you were and who you are now. Because obviously, if you are no longer in the past version of yourself, you will not entertain or even connect with people that thought the way you thought in the past. And if you are being tempted and that you are entertaining people from the past, then there is a soul evolution that needs to happen within you that you're refusing to either accept or embrace. Okay, copies. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Capricorn, in regards to new love, we have the Justice card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Devil. You're right here in your own reading. All right, so Justice card does indicate in regards to how they see you, they see you as a very righteous person, not necessarily in a negative aspect. They say they see you very direct, very to the point. They may see you a bit unemotional or perhaps unattached, uh, not necessarily a negative thing. I feel like this detachment of yours is going to make them feel much more connected or with the desire of wanting to attain you. Now, this is where I see the problem, Capricorn. You don't want someone to obsess over you or to want to attain you because they become so obsessive that they've convinced themselves that they could, you know, change you or that they could just to attain you. Do you get what I'm saying? Um... The reason I say that is because right at the center, it's the Four of Pentacles. And it's mirroring the Devil card and the Justice. So that's where I would be a bit worried. If you are dealing with someone new and you start to notice that maybe you're not that accessible to them, whether it's because you're working, whether it's because you have a lot of things going on and they continuously keep blowing your phone up or they continuously actively try to pursue you, give them, give them some time, give them some attention don't be very detached and see where that goes. And the reason I say that is because I feel the more of your absence, the more obsessed they become. Now, if you have issues with that, if you've been dealing with them for a while and they don't necessarily respond the way you would want them to, give them some of your ghosting and they will start to come towards you. Not me telling you how to manipulate the situation. <laughs> but it could, it could be working both ways. Like I said, if you are very busy, very doing your own thing, you know how they say absence makes the heart grow fonder. It is true. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. So if you're in a relationship or you've been dealing with this person for a while and you feel like it's been getting a bit cold, a bit, you know, not really into it, 
Give them a little breathing time and you'll notice that their attention and focus comes back to you. However, if you're doing this already and not necessarily because you're aware of it, you're just doing it because you are busy, try the best you can to try to give them more attention and see where it goes. See if their fixation on you is still the same. If it is, then that's good because it's representing that they are genuinely wanting to be with you. But if you feel like the more attention you give them, the more they kind of start to pull away, then they were just obsessing over the fact that they couldn't attain you. And once you reciprocate, they're no longer interested, then obviously that's a toxic behavior and you don't need that in your life. I hope I made myself very clear because I think I did. All right, when we're talking about old love, we have the king of wands, we have the three of pentacles and the six of cups. If you guys are looking for some type of reconciliation, I do see the probability of reconciliation coming through for you guys. For others of you, I feel like there could be a situation that either brings you around your ex or that you hear about your ex. And it could be potentially friends or relatives that are coming around or that may find themselves in a situation where they are being around the person from your past or they're dealing with them. Uh, not necessarily having to do with you, but I feel like you will be hearing from your ex this month. Like I said, if there is reconciliation, I feel like it's going to come through a family member or a friend, someone that is the mediator towards this connection, someone that says something that triggers action from your partner to want to communicate, to want to reach out to you. Um, so do not be surprised if you do hear from an ex-lover, an ex-partner from the past. All right, now moving on to Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards to represent their new love. Three cards to represent their old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. All right, here we go. All right, Aquarius, we have the Page of Swords, the World card, and the Ten of Cups. All righty. So with the Page of Swords, I'm going to be honest with you, Aquarius, you're dealing with someone that is definitely trying to stalk you or looking at your social medias. There is definitely some type of admiration that's happening here, whether it's what you're posting or how they see you deal with other people um, that's really, really attractive to them. Um, they could potentially be seeing that you are getting attention or that you get a lot of attention. And that also is kind of creating a buildup in their mind of who you are. And that's really what's pushing them to want to get closer to you. If you've been dealing with this person for a while, and it just doesn't seem to pan out or it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. The end of this month, the beginning of September, I want to say the first week of September, there is some type of leveling up in this connection. So you guys may actually go public or make it official. Okay. All right. Let's see. Old love. We have the nine of swords, the queen of swords and the ace of wands. So there is definitely remorse and regret here. I do see them being very much in the in their emotions about you, wanting to reach out, but I feel like they've held back or they feel very guarded. You may be deal your ex partner may be very egocentrical or very connected to their ego. However, I feel that the first week of September you will be hearing from them. Do not be surprised if you hear from them and they're drunk. Um I feel like there was something that gave them that push or that courage and it's coming through as liquor courage for me. So could be that you or that they reach out to you and then you find out or you pick up and they are drunk. They are telling you like basically vomiting emotions all over the place. But I feel it's because they needed that that little push. Whereas in the past, they were a bit stuck in their mind, not really wanting to take action. But I do see the action actually happening the first week of September. So do not be surprised if you hear from them. The fact that they're going to be probably, you know, with a little bit of alcohol liquor, not necessarily a good thing, right? Because it's a person that hasn't emotionally mature. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards to represent their new love. Three cards to represent their old 
flame pisces sun moon rising venus pisces sun moon rising venus hmm. these cards got a bit they're not really wanting to shuffle for some of you pisces you may be dealing with the overwhelmingness of emotions or feeling confused or feeling like you don't have any direction right now when we're talking about love and romance. Okay, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One last shuffle. Yeah, I feel like the end of this month is not going to be necessarily that amazing for you guys in regards to your emotions. Why? Because I feel like you guys are really going to be struggling with your emotions. You're going to be struggling with expressing or being able to express your emotions. A bit of frustration here, a bit of aggressive type of energy. All right, so when we're talking about new love here with the Knight of Swords, I feel like they see you very, very impulsive. And this has either become an issue or it will be becoming an issue um, because I feel like they see you as a person that is not necessarily mature or that like i said you're very impulsive you don't really think before you act and this is creating a blockage it's like they're guarding their heart or they're going out of their way to not necessarily get you or allow you to get that close because they don't want to get hurt how they feel about you with the king of swords they're still undecided they're very much in their head i don't i don't see any cup cards here anything that would indicate to me that this is like they are emotionally invested in it i'm gonna be honest if you're wanting them to you know take action towards you i don't see it happening with the page of pentacles i feel like it's going to take a while for them to actually open up but i feel that it has a lot to do with past actions on your part so i'm not sure what's happened what has transpired but i feel like at some point they were emotionally open but then the red flag started to pop up and they immediately became detached or they pulled away. And the reason for it is because now they're thinking with their head. They are trying the best they can to protect themselves and they don't want to get hurt. Now, this could be vice versa the other way around. It could be you, Pisces, that's feeling like you need to guard yourself right now because the person you were dealing with was extremely impulsive. They've created a little bit of more chaotic type of energy in your life and what you're looking for is structure and stability so if that's the case and you're dealing with this type of energy walk away from that because i do feel like they will uh be bringing more conflict to your life rather than more stability all right now moving on to the old flame for pisces we have the ten of cups the nine of wands and the ten of pentacles okay so there is a desire to want to rekindle or to want to fix the relationship. However, I feel like someone in this relationship has sacrificed too much. If this is you, Pisces, that has sacrificed too much in the past, my advice at this point would be if you're not able to stabilize it and it's been a while, let's say it's been over four years and you're still dealing with the same things that you were dealing with four years ago when it first began, then you need to walk away from this. It's an ending cycle for you, but you also have to rise above it, meaning make the rational decision to make decisions of what's best suited for you at this point versus what's best for the relationship or what's best for your partner. Because I feel you either over trying to compensate or trying the best you can to take care of them. And in taking care of them, it's emptying your cup. And at this point, you need to make yourself a priority. You need to value yourself, um, Pisces, or stop overdoing because you're not allowing them to step into their energy and meet you halfway. So, like I said, if it's a situation where there was some type of separation or some type of, you know, not being able to balance it out, not being able to figure it out, um, like I said, I feel like in the past, it, a lot has transpired. And at this point, the only way it can work is if the one that's been sacrificing and doing too much steps down and allows the other one to step up. Will they step up? It's really up to them. Um, what I'm saying here is, is, it, is there probability of reconciliation or fixing it? Absolutely. But they're going to have to want it. And I don't see it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right, my lovelies, now moving on. Who's this? Pisces. Okay, so we're going to Aries. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. 
Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards to represent their new love. Three cards to represent their old flame. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, definitely like, comment, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, you guys. It truly is appreciated. All right, Aries. All right, here we go, Aries. Let's see what's going on with your new love. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Sun card. Okay, Aries, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, the wait is over. Why do I say that? Page of Pentacles usually indicates the wanting of fruition or the manifestation of something that has been progressively a very long road. With the Death card, it does speak about an ending cycle, the ending cycle of your singlehood going towards the sun, going towards a new relationship, a new partnership, a new connection. For some of you guys, you will be dealing with the Scorpio or a Leo type of person coming into your life. Um... Now, if you are already dealing with someone, in regards to how they see you, the Page of Pentacles, they see you very practical. They see you as an intellect or a very smart person. How they feel about you, the Death card does indicate they're coming out of something. So you may potentially be, and this is only for those of you guys that are already dealing with someone. You could potentially be dealing with someone that just recently came out of a relationship, came out of some type of connection, or is coming out of their singlehood era that puts them in a position that is a very auspicious position. Because why? Because you want a person that, you want a person that knows they're ready for a relationship versus someone that just goes with the flow. Why? Because this means that it has the probability of something long lasting. When you're, it's very different when you're ready than when you're looking for a relationship. You could be looking for a relationship to you know, try the best you can to um, fill a void, to fill your emptiness, to feel or to not feel lonely, whatever the situation may be, versus a person that's coming out of singlehood. They've been single for a while. They've done whatever they wanted. And at this point, they're like, you know what? I think I'm ready for a relationship. Because when they get to that point emotionally, it means that the next person they connect or the next person that they find in a relationship has a very higher chance of it becoming something serious or even marriage. Um, it's kind of the scenario where clients tell me, I don't understand. I dated this person for five years. They never wanted to commit. And then after we break up, they find someone and they married them in a year or they married them in six months. It's not who it is. It's just that the person, everyone gets to a point in their life where they say, you know what, I'm ready. And when they're ready, they are more emotionally, physically and mentally experienced and mature that they're making the rational decision to actually get in a relationship because they're ready because they are in a healthy place in their life etc etc so that's what i'm sensing if you are dealing with someone um that is coming out of a relationship or that ended a relationship and they're coming towards you and you may be a bit reserved about it i feel like this person is in a mental space where they are ending a cycle and they're ready to embrace something that is going to be long lasting. For others of you, it's a person that is giving up their singlehood because they're ready. They're, they know that they want and they they want and they need a relationship at this point. Um, they're ready to commit. They, they're, they mentally made up their mind that they're ready for a relationship. So this has the probability of something amazing for you guys. Okay. All right, moving along in regards to the old flame for Aries, we have the two of wands, the nine of cups, and the page of swords. If you're looking for reconciliation, uh, Aries, I definitely do see that for you guys. Um, how they feel about you, two of wands, they're missing you, they're in their feelings about you, they are wanting to reaching out to you, wanting to hear it from you. How do they feel about the situation and why nine of cups? Because they feel like you are their happiness or you are who they always wanted to be with. They just didn't appreciate it or didn't understand it. But now they're coming to that understanding. And in regards to future actions towards you, the page of swords means that they will take action you will be hearing from them this month 
Aries. You will be hearing from them, and I hear an apology is coming through for some of you guys. So there you go. All right, now moving on to my lovely Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards to represent their new love. Three cards to represent their old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to new love and old flame. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more shuffle. Here we go. All right. All righty. All right, Taurus, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Pentacles. I see two options for you, Taurus. So for some of you guys, you will be dealing or you will be hearing from someone through social media. For some of you guys, if you guys are into that online dating, I do see communication coming through or a connection coming through, and I see particularly two people coming into your life. One may be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or it could be the person that you meet online. And the other person is an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. However, what I'm seeing here is I see you guys meeting one in person and the other one through social media, or it could be that you meet through an app or something like that, and you guys decide to meet up or to link up. What I'm seeing here is that the Knight of Pentacles does indicate to me a person that is much more evolved, a person that knows uh, more about life. They've experienced more and they are emotionally and mentally ready for a relationship. I feel like you may feel stuck at some point or that's if you're not already dealing with this situation. I feel you anxious, Taurus, because you want you don't want to give up or lose an opportunity. So I see you more nervous about it because it's like you don't want to choose the wrong one here's the thing about um here's the thing about stability right <laughs> and longevity consistency it's that simple if they keep the communication after you've met them after you've gone out with them if they keep the consistency then it's a person that you can rely on it's a person that is emotionally invested if they communicate consistently for three four you know a week or whatever and then next week, they're not as consistent, then that's the person you don't, shouldn't mind, you know, losing connection with. You want to look for consistency. That's the key to your success when it comes to relationships, uh, Taurus. All right, my lovelies. Now moving on to the past or old flame. We have the two of wands, 10 of wands, and the six of wands. So when we talk about why... Oh, first of all, how they feel about you two of wands. There is someone from your past that usually or continuously keeps reminiscing about the past or reliving the past or thinking about you with regret. The 10 of wands does indicate that at this present time in their situation, in their life, they have a lot of stress. So it's almost an indication that at some point in this connection, they felt like you were the one that would either facilitate the stress they dealt with or you were a great emotional support for them, whereas they feel alone or they feel like they don't have that support anymore. Whether they're in a relationship or not, I feel like there is a constant like feeling of having to face the world on their own. So they feel lonely is what I'm hearing. Now, in regards to their future actions, the six of wands, I don't see them communicating with you. However, I feel like you will be finding out about things that are going on in their life where you may feel a bit like they're doing a little bit better and it makes you think that they're doing better off without you. But the truth is that this is a facade. This is their ego. This is what they're wanting to present to the world when clearly they're dealing with the 10 of wands, which is stress, um, overburden, you know, people not allowing people to see the stress and, you know, uh, instability that they're dealing with in their life right now. And the six of wands is like, I'm going to show Taurus that I'm doing great, that I'm doing amazing, that everything is just bliss. When in reality, it's not. It's just the face. It's just the front that they're trying to portray. Why? Because clearly they still care for you. That's what it is. They want you to think that they're doing better without you. Um, why? Because they still care. If they didn't care, they wouldn't care what you thought about them. <laughs> All righty, my lovelies. Now moving on. 
let's see what's going on with gemini sun moon rising venus gemini sun moon rising venus give me three cards to represent their new love three cards to represent their old flame gemini sun moon rising venus gemini sun moon rising venus i'm gonna try you guys the best i can to come on here more often and do lives for you guys i do lives on my tiktok and on my instagram i don't necessarily do it on my facebook but i'm gonna start to be more proactive on facebook so i'm gonna try the best i can to give you guys one free question ratings on here on my youtube on my instagram on my tiktok and on my facebook I say try very, you know, <laughs> lightly because I usually have a lot of things going on, you guys. And, you know, I'm always giving you guys updates and letting you guys know, but it's really hard. Um, but I'm going to try the best I can. I've been trying the best I can this year and it hasn't happened the way I wanted, but it's OK. We're not complaining. We're blessed. But I promise you guys that I'm going to try the best I can to go on more lives, okay? Whether it's here, whether it's on my Facebook, on my Instagram, or TikTok. So if you guys don't follow me on there, definitely go follow. All right, going, uh, moving along. Gemini, we have the Magician card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. In regards to your new love. So how they see you, how they see you. The Magician definitely speaks about a person that we admire, that we see has all the virtues and qualities that we're looking for in a partner. However, how they feel about you with the four of pentacles, I feel like they're very reserved. Um, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, you may be dealing with a fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo type of energy. Um, but I am definitely seeing here that they, this is a person that is reserved. They're not necessarily the you know expressive type, but they are definitely very excited and very, very uh, physically attracted to you. There is definitely a connection here. I just feel like they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. Could be because they've been through a lot and they prefer to protect themselves and see how things progress before opening up. So if you're feeling a little bit like, I'm not sure what he's feeling or what she's feeling about me, they are definitely into you, Gemini. They are definitely feeling you. For those of you guys that are completely single right now, I'm telling you right now, third week of august you're going to be meeting someone that comes into your life and it could be someone that potentially moves to your location if you as an example if you live in apartments it could be someone that's renting a new apartment there or someone that is moving into your vicinity um for others of you you will be meeting a new person through a, set, a social outing so it could be that you go out with friends you go have a drink whatever the situation is and i feel like the universe brings both of you guys together and it's through an accident not a physical accident but an accident of life almost like i didn't want to go to that party and then boom i'm at the love of my life type of energy so i feel like right now the universe is uh, creating a lot of synchronicities in your life gemini try the best you can to pay attention to that okay all right my lovelies now moving on to the old flame for gemini ten of wands seven of wands and the world card gemini understand and know that this connection or this relationship has served its purpose it's time to disconnect from this connection um if there was hope or desire to want to reconnect what spirit is telling you is at this point it, it a lot of time has passed or a lot has progressed since when you guys separated or broke up it's time you learn to put yourself first it's time to stand your ground and move on the world card does indicate going into a new cycle in your life where you're being elevated. You're going or stepping into higher consciousness. And this can also progressively indicate that the reason why you haven't connected or the reason why you, for some of you guys, you have not emotionally connected with anyone is because you haven't allowed yourself to because you're holding on to the past or you're reliving the past. So this is like listening to music, thinking of your ex or getting drunk and talking about your ex or talking to your friends constantly about the past relationship you had. That's the reason why there hasn't been many opportunities for you. It's almost like you're repelling them. You're repelling those opportunities. So again, it's time to pull yourself away from that energy and elevate. Step it up. Put yourself out there. Reinvent yourself, Gemini. This is the month to do that. This is the month to take on new opportunities, to be more spontaneous in your life. This is going to open up a new world for you. This is going to bring up uh, or connect you with a different circle of friends or even meet new people in your life that are going to 
bring much more fulfillment to your life. But now is the time to do so. Release yourself from the past. Let go of the past. Stop reliving the past. It's time to live in the present and be excited about your future, Gemini. All right, my lovelies. Now moving on to Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards to represent their new love. Three cards to represent their old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Last but not least, my lovely Cancers. Give me three cards to represent new love. Three cards to represent old flame. Here we go. One more shuffle. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, my lovelies. Here we go. We're starting off here with the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Justice card. Okay, Cancer, stop telling everybody that your love life is shit or stop telling them that nothing exciting in your life is happening. Why do you keep repeating the same cycle or thinking or saying the same thing? You know why you haven't been able to move on? You know why you haven't been able to fully embrace a new beginning? Because you keep reliving the past. It's almost like I'm speaking to Gemini's again. The seven of pentacles indicates to me the desire to want to relive in the past or look towards the past or constantly relive the past. The nine of swords is a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress or feeling helpless. The justice card is giving me the energy of feeling like the universe is not fair to you, but the universe is telling you I'm not fair to you because you don't want me to be fair. You keep reliving the past, so I'm going to keep bringing to you situations, circumstances that keep treating you or making you feel the way you felt in the past or the same type of people just or the same version of people just in different body. So it's time for you to become aware of that to detach from that energy and to decide that you're the one that decides how your life is going to be. Once you take your power back, stop reliving the past. It's okay to think of the past sometimes, once in a blue moon, because it helps us realize how far we've come. But if you're constantly looking to the past as if the past was the best time of your life, then guess what's going to happen? You're going to keep dealing with shit circumstances that are going to continuously make you feel like the past was the best. And it's not. The moment you decide the best is yet to be, the best is yet to come, the happiest time in my life has yet to come into my life, the moment you decide that you're taking your power back and you are redirecting your energy. Okay, Cancer? So stop the pity party. It's time for you to take a hold of your life and take control and take self-responsibility. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to come off very cold, but that's what's coming through. I'm not trying to say that it's not okay to like think of the past and, you know, sometimes it's necessary. However, don't live in the past. Don't stay in that energy. Okay, like I said, think of it as the best is yet to come and prepare yourself. Put yourself out there. Get out of your comfort zone. Stop doing the same thing you do all the single day of every single day of your life and expect change because it doesn't work that way. You got to take self-responsibility. What are you doing to excite you about the future? What are you doing to open the doors to love, to open the doors to you being happy? You take that responsibility. You own it and take your power back. How do I do that, Pinky? Well, it's easy. Stop reliving in the past. Stop overthinking that you're not meant to be happy or that you're not meant to have a relationship or that you're not meant to get married. If marriage is something you want, make it happen. How? I know I'm deserving. I know I deserve love because I'm willing to give so much love and that's the type of energy that I'm willing to receive and that I am deserving of. And moving forward, the best is yet to come. Keeping that energy, maintaining that vibration will only draw into your life people that have the same type of vibration, Cancer. All right? All right, moving on. Cancer's old flame. We have here the lovers, Queen of Swords, and Queen of Cups. There is a, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the person that was double dealing or someone that was stepping out of the relationship. At this point, what they're telling you is in regards to how they feel about you, the lovers, a lot of passion, a lot of desire there. However, um, with the Queen of Swords, they feel detached or they felt like they were detached, whereas they felt emotionally invested or connected in another person or with, an, with another uh, individual. 
the lover speaks about crossroads. So I feel like if you are dealing with the person from the past that is either dealing with someone right now or that left the relationship to be with someone else, don't serve as a second choice. What do I mean by that? I see them coming back around cancer and wanting to reach out to you because now they need comfort and now they need the emotional magic that you give, which is to help people heal and feel like they're being taken care of emotionally. And I don't want you to put yourself in that position because this person ultimately is only using you um, to feel that emotional backing because they can find it nowhere else. Um, so do yourself a favor. If you do hear from the person from the past, even if you were wa wanting or willing to reconnect or hoping for some type of reconciliation, I feel like this person draws out more energy than they what they give in. So it's time for you to put to put yourself first and to walk away from the past so that you can fully embrace the new beginnings cancer you deserve better than that my lovelies all right my lovelies and we are done if you guys are interested like i said in any of the services you can find all of that on the description box below i want to wish you guys the very best stay tuned for more readings stay tuned for more spell work more magic and we will see each other soon till then bye bye